and welcome to our lesson on the gradient of a straight line. So the gradient of a straight line describes its steepness. So the larger the gradient, the steeper the line, the smaller the gradient, the less steep the line. And the gradient is found by calculating the change in y divided by the change in x. And this symbol means change in. And the algebraic symbol for gradient is m. So the gradient of this blue line here is the change in y divided by the change in x. Where the change in y from this point to this point is 2. And the change in x from this point to this point is 1. So the gradient is 2 divided by 1. The gradient is equal to 2. That means every time you go across by 1, it goes up by 2. So the gradient of this blue line here, the gradient m is the change in y divided by the change in x. We need two coordinate points that lie along the straight line. I'm picking this point here and this point here. At this point, x is 2 and y is 4. At this point, x is 1 and y is 1. So the change in y between the two points, we can see is 3. And the change in x between the two points, from here to here, is 1. So the gradient is 3 divided by 1. The gradient is equal to 3. This means every time you go across by 1, you go up by 3. And you can see that is constant along the line. Okay, let's try a couple more questions. So do you want to try and calculate the gradient of this blue line by pausing the video? And you can resume that when you're ready. So the gradient n is the change in y divided by the change in x. To find the change in y and the change in x, we need to plot two points which lie along the graph and cross through two coordinates. So you can see between these two points, we have a change in y, which is equal to negative 10. And we change in x, which is equal to positive 2. So the gradient m is negative 10 divided by 2. The gradient is equal to negative 5. Which means every time you go across by 1, you go down by 5. And you can do that throughout the entire course of the line. Do you want to try our extension question by pausing the video and you can resume it when you're ready? Okay, so we can sketch the coordinate for 0 and 6, 8. And we can draw an approximate line between the two. The change in y will be this distance here where we have an 8 on the, on the y-axis and a 0, so the change in y is 8. The change in x from 4 to 6 is 2. So the gradient m is the change in y divided by the change in x, which is 8 divided by 2, so the gradient is equal to 4. I hope you found that useful. Thanks very much for watching and take care.